And welcome everybody to the KEXP live room, streaming live 24-7 at 90.3 KEXP at kexp.org. And thanks to everybody who supports KEXP so that we can do stuff like this. And we've been trying to do this for many, many years. We've been huge fans of this band and finally got you here to Seattle. So thank you all so much. It's nice to have you. And all right, let's do this. We've got Gilliband here in the live, KEXP live room. Gilliband, if you're all ready, take it away. They, 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 they,
You are listening to Gilla Band here in the KEXP live room. Fox says. 
excited Still needs improvement But that was perfect Dirty forward Backwash No looks cool Around the walls Best time my shoes Get in the straw I give dirty looks to You are listening to Gilliband, live here on 90.3 KEXP and streaming all over the world at kexp.org. I can wear hats, I just get slack. I get dressed up in plastic bags. For some reason, whatever the season, the line of fashion can look like anything. Pull from swallowing, I feel it. Prince, I call my teeth back in. I'll still be gappy, but might be happy. Watching a pop and wearing tinfoil. I can wear hats, I still get slack. Forgot the alphabet in the back. everybody okay? That is Gilliband here in the KEXP live room. That's the most bass I've ever felt in 17 years of interviewing bands here in the KEXP live room. That bass rig is uh, incredible and right next to me. <laughs> that, if you can see behind your rig there, that's usually the bass amp that people oh, yeah. use. So you can imagine. That, Sorry. You know, it's wonderful. <laughs> right when you started, I was like, oh, I got to find my breathing pattern. It's <laughs> vibrating through my whole body. Uh, that's an amazing orange cabinet that is as tall as me. That's uh, as tall as me, too. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. Uh, Gilliband, thank you all once again so much for taking the time to do this. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks so much yeah. for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So 
as I said, we've been fans of the band for uh, since the beginnings and uh, love having you here actually in Seattle. I know we did something from Iceland Airwaves years ago, but uh, my personal first introduction to uh, your band was seeing a music video about nine years ago, nine or ten years ago for the song Lawman. And a friend of mine was like, have you seen this video and heard this band? And I'm like, all right, I'll check it out. You know, people recommend stuff, and 99% of the time it's not that great. And so I watched the video, and I was immediately, I said this earlier on the air, I was simultaneously enchanted and frightened at the same time because it's such a work of art, that uh, song. What an introduction, at least for me in my life. And then ever since then, you've just been continually putting out amazing stuff. So thank you for all the years of w all this wonderful noise. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and uh, what else did I want to ask? Oh, yeah, the uh, the video for Lawman is how important to you is the visual aspect as a companion to the audio aspect? Um, yeah, I think it's really important. It's something that we try to pay a good bit of attention to, you know, um, what the videos will look like or what the artwork will, will look like. I think particularly when we done our second record, um, we worked with this really great artist called Damien Tran. And he really helped kind of create like a visual aesthetic for the whole thing, which translated over to the videos as well. And then we tried to do that again with Most Normal um, with uh, another really great artist called Dave Meany. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, al it's always been something we've paid attention to. You know, we've been lucky as well, though, like when it comes to music videos, we don't have any ideas, like really <laughs> none. So it's like we've always been lucky to work with some really good directors like Bob Gallagher and Second Frame and uh, more studios and stuff like that. So cool. yeah, it's always been really, really helpful. And speaking of, I was going to ask about that because the cover image for the new album is amazing. Was that a photograph that was purposefully taken for this record or was that a photograph? photo of some other artist that you just found and wanted to use? I think that's taken from like a journal of like, you know, like the American Lumberman's Journal or something. You know, it's from some like old um, lumber based trade magazine or something, wow. which Dave, who did the artwork, uh, he tracked down because we talked through like lyrics and everything and there was certain themes. It's in there. It's it's tucked away in there. But uh, that's basically where it's from. It wasn't like uh, that image isn't like wasn't taken as as like an art photo or whatever. It's actually like a real life photo, you know. So cool. I mean, it, you just seem to find images and have videos that go so well hand in hand with the sounds that you make. And uh, this new cover for the new album, Most Normal, is uh, just awesome. And thanks, you also played, well, you played two songs from Most Normal and you also played a song from The Talkies from 2019 and Holding Hands with Jamie from 2015. And uh, in the very beginnings of this band, because you've been around a little while now, um, Dara, weren't you playing the drums? Which made, what made you want to switch over and not play the drums? Uh, I wasn't very good. So. <laughs> I guess that's a good reason. That's probably the best reason I can get. <laughs> and I'm just trying to figure out what the uh, the first first iteration of this band was. It uh, was it you two? Was it uh, Alan it was and Dara? It was the and three Daniel. of us the and then two other guys. This is when we were like in um, like high school or wherever. Okay. Um, so it was the three of us, and then when um, Dara when we that band broke up, and then we were Dara express some interest in singing and he um he asked us that if he started singing and he wasn't any good at that either and we got a drummer who was better than him could he still be in the band <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of managed to stay in there yeah. and, and he was he was he, good i love it yeah. That's awesome. Uh, speaking of the new album, so uh, you, Daniel, you're also an engineer, and mm -hmm. you produced and uh, recorded and mixed this new record. Is yeah, that like we're all, you know, we're all doing it together at once. But yeah, I was like, you know, the the button pusher. Sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was curious for all the audio nerds out there what mm -hmm. uh, what you use. Do you use Pro Tools, Logic? I'm a Cubase guy wow. myself. Wow. Yeah. Which is a Usually deep, I get Logic a, or Pro Tools. The deeper cut of the doll world, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's amazing. And what, what and where is Sonic Studios exactly? Sonic is a studio in Dublin. It's like I do a fair amount of the work I do out there. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like a, yeah, it's where where I go to work. <laughs> Love it. And, and when I, like I was talking about when I first heard your music, when I first heard the song Lawman and uh, all your music, I, I remember trying to think like, 
Where did, where did they, you know, figure out this sound from? Because sound uh, music, of course, just evolves over the decades. And I'm like, oh, where did Gilliban get this sound from? And I'm just curious. I'm going to mention a few artists. And whoever gets excited about these artists, I'm <laughs> curious what they mean to this band and to you personally. But what about James Chance? Yeah, unbelievable. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like a... Yeah, your name. Yeah. yeah. Are we okay. playing crap? Yeah, crap, yeah, crap, your name. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yay. Yay. Uh, also, the ba- uh, DNA. Oh, yay. <laughs> yay. DN- yeah. DN- yeah. 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 Theoretical girls. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Yay. Yeah, yeah, it's all these important to Gilliband. Yeah, yeah I, for sure. I, I think when we kind of came across No Wave, that was a real kind of eye opener um, as like a genre to take kind of inspiration from. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, probably one of the most important ones, I think, yeah. as like a, as like a, a, a definitive kind of genre. That, yeah, it right. really seemed like it. That was like a, a, a genuine no rules kind of thing. Like when you kind yeah. of come across that, it's like people say, "Oh, you could do whatever," and like have like relatively normal songs sometimes but when we kind of stumble across all that stuff it's like oh, okay <laughs> like there's like it's totally you know its own kind of thing which yeah. was um yeah totally inspiring to us you know well i just want to once again tell the listeners the new album most normal also just fantastic yet again from gilla band if you have not seen this band live uh get online find out if they're playing near you and get out to the show because it is explosive to say the least. Once again, thank you all so much for taking your time. Thanks, Thanks so much. much. Cheers. Much. That's right. That was Gilliband live here on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.